Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, we did a pour last week that I really enjoyed called Neverland that started out as a pearl pour, but that didn't work. But then we kind of went with the flow and we kind of yeeted some paint across the canvas. And I think it came out really, really beautiful with the beautiful negative space and a more minimal painting. And in that one, when I was throwing the paint in the cup, the first main part of the paint came out and then there were some little like skinny wispy lines that were all over the place and those actually were really enchanting when it was dry so tonight i want to try another pour like a pour like that we're not going to do the pearl pour part <laughs> we're going to put down our turquoise base coat and then we're going to use those same colors these are my same paints that i had and we're going to do a couple of those with some more of those wispy pretty lines I hope so let's get started real quick this is a 24 by 30 so we're going bigger <laughs> but I'm very excited about this one I really like that Neverland piece I thought it came out so cool and uh, so I hope we can do a better one and a bigger one so that's a 24 by 30 I have taped and pinned the back and I have painted my sides and edges with my Golden's turquoise phthalo which is my base coat color let me show you that real quick nice full tub to put down a beautiful base coat. This is Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and American Floetrol and a lot of water. And it's pretty thin. So, okay. If it had been this thin for the Pearl Four, it might have been a different story. <laughs> okay, so just real quick, I'm going to show you them. This is the Liquitex B Turquoise Blue. And this one is Folk Art Treasure Gold Series in Green Gold, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. This one is Chromacryl uh, White with some Sargent's Pearlescent Medium in there. So it's kind of a pearl color. And then I also have my Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And Amsterdam Pearl Yellow. And this was the Amsterdam Light Turquoise. So, okay. So we're going to put down our base coat first. And then we're going to layer our little cups. All right, so we want to do a nice job with this. So take your time. When your base coat is important, take your time. Don't go fast. I should probably move these. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do, I think, three cups. Well, we'll start with two and see how that goes. I wanna actually start with a little bit of that pearl white in the bottom. And I'm mostly putting this in here because I want these white little wispies at the end of the cup. So we're not putting a lot in there, just drizzling it off the stick. Then I'm going to put a little bit of gold and seriously just a little bit. With the small cups, you don't need a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some of that light turquoise. And some of the pearl yellow. And some of the turquoise blue. white on the other side of that because I want the contrast and I want that turquoise to stand out from this golden turquoise thalo which is the background color and then I'm gonna put the green gold and the light turquoise I think two cups is probably way more than enough a little layer of gold Okay, so our yeeting cups are ready to be yeeted. <laughs> you like the yeets, HOA? I love the yeets. 
It's a lot of fun. Yeet. Yeet. Maybe you'll do a yeet one day. Maybe. Yeet. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. So I think what I want to do is go one this way and then one this way, kind of like feathers. Maybe going up. Let's see. Let's see if that goes. Okay. Whew. It just got hot in here all of a sudden. <laughs> Alrighty. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last thought I am. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. We're going to do one more. I'm going to go this way just a little bit more. Ready, darling? Yep. I mean, yeet. <laughs> yeet. Yeet. <laughs> I'm not getting you, am I? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want these little wispies, though. <laughs> That's fun. I almost feel like we need one more over here, but maybe not. I don't even want to tilt it. <laughs> Let's touch it though. I don't like this drip, so I'm just gonna Fiona finger dip it. <laughs> okay, I like it. What do you think, HOA? I like it. I like those, the way that when those bubbles pop, they left those circles. Hmm. I kind of don't want to tilt it. What do you think? Well, why? Hmm? Why? Well, normally I would tilt anything, but I purposely took off a lot of the base coat, so there's not a very thick layer of base coat on there. Technically, there is kind of a lot of paint where the yeats were, and it would be good to stretch them out, but I don't necessarily want to. Okay. I also think those, uh, all those cool cells will end up getting. Yeah, exactly. Shorter. But I wouldn't mind just a little bit more of a, a mini yeet over here. didn't do what I wanted but that's okay all right I think we're good anyway I like it like this I'm gonna leave it like this so <laughs> we turn it around so you guys can see it from my point of view it's very dynamic it's pretty cool yeah I like it I agree okay so I'll show you guys when to start thank you so much for hanging out with us I hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day we'll be right back
It's a puppy pool for you. Come on. Come on. Go get the toy. <laughs> this is fun, Mom. You like it? Where's your baby? Where's the baby? Oh, where's your toy? <laughs> You're so funny. This is awesome. You like it, Baxi? <laughs> you are soaking wet. <laughs> At least it's keeping him cool. That's funny. Hey, Bax. Hi. <laughs> Okay, this is a few days later. I'm so happy that this dried perfectly. It's really beautiful. I'm loving these colors. This beautiful metallic shimmer on here. It's just so pretty. But my favorite thing about this one, I hope you guys are gonna be able to see it, are these lines, these little texture lines that are up in here because they're kind of raised. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's like that lighter turquoise against the darker turquoise. And then this, look at that. It's like a little spirally unicorn horn. I love it. But there's texture. Like right in here. It's not showing up on the camera very well. But these little ghosty lines are like slightly raised, which is so cool looking. It's really neat stuff. I love the way this looks. It just like makes me so happy. Very calm and very peaceful. And to me, it looks like a bouquet. And it's like tranquility. I don't know, it's very, very it makes me really happy. It's flowers for sure. I'm not going to go and say what kind of flowers because that's open to your interpretation. But I love how this one tur turned out. The only critique that I have, two critiques actually, my base coat color that I used was the turquoise thalo from Golden, which I was talking to Sarah and I was like, how come there's like a halo on the edge? She goes, well, that one's transparent, silly. So I was like, oh, you know, she's right. <laughs> so the next one will definitely be using an opaque base coat rather than the transparent and the only other critique that I had was I'm not crazy about this very blunt edge along the tops of them so I want to try to figure out something to do to make it not have such a blunt edge and be a little bit more flowy and soft across the top but I do love the way this one turned out I'm not sure that I like all of those big cells popping up through there so Maybe next time if my paint is slightly thicker, it won't do that quite as much. But overall, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've ever poured. So, this is going to be Tranquilité, which means tranquility. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. Give me a like if you do. I'd love it if you could share this video. That would be awesome. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.